What's up guys, Asian here again with another theory crafting video and this actually uh, comes as a personal request from uh, Andrew uh, who asked me, um, everybody kind of says how important major force uptime is and basically how much additional DPS it adds but he was interested in kind of being able to quantify that amount um, so he uh, in his question sort of asked, told me that you know he sees that the DPS meter you know on um, combat metrics jumps up by a few thousand uh, whenever major force is up but that's not really what he would say uh, like a, like a great indicator of how much DPS you're actually gaining. Um, so I figured I'd run a couple of the numbers for him and kind of you know show you guys just how much of a difference um, major force actually does make on on your overall DPS. Now, when I answered him uh, the initially um, today, uh, I basically said that um, it's a tricky. Uh, topic, tr tricky answer basically, um, mainly because uh, of the way the damage equation all works out. So how much DPS you're gaining from major force is really going to be reliant on a, a couple of different factors, your spell damage, uh, your, crit f uh, your crit chance, and your current crit damage. Um, those are probably going to be very important in terms of, you know, seeing how much additional um, damage you get out of major force. Um, so Basically, what it is is that, you know, as you would expect, if you have higher crit chance, major force is going to be a little bit more important for you because more of your hits are going to be crits and that's going to increase your damage. But if you have a relatively low crit chance, then it, it becomes, it'll, I mean, it'll still help your DPS, but it might not be as great of a boost as if you were running something like Mother Sorrow instead. So what I did in, uh, to kind of compare things was I basically took three different scenarios. Um, for one, and I did it across both Magicka and Stamina. So for Magicka, I took a look at a pretty typical meta build. So that would be, uh, you know, Seer Sororia with Mother Sorrow front bar on a Magicka Nightblade. Then I took a look at you know, what happens if we take away Mother Sorrow, if we take away that crit chance. So instead I put in a uh, spell strategist instead. So that would be our second scenario. And our final scenario is what if we have a class that doesn't actually have the additional 10% crit damage that Nightblades do. So this would be your typical Magsork builds right now, which would be Sororia and Burning Spellweave. So this is basically uh, what I got for the first scenario here for Magicka Nightblades, uh, which is basically um, you're running Mother Sorrow on your front bar, uh, so put in all the numbers here, and so we're assuming that we are main, managing to maintain 100% uptime on Minor Force. So if we take a look at the ability metric here, we're just going to be looking at the Thief, uh, just because everything else is pretty much going to scale pretty linearly. Uh, as uh, In other words, the percentage increase is pretty, pretty much going to be very similar across each of these five different Mundus Stones that I have. Um, so Major Force gives you 0.15 additional crit damage. So with uh, our current crit damage modifier, we have 0.92. So if we add 0.15 uh, to this modifier, we will get uh, 1.07. And so before I hit enter, our ability metric right now is 2667.4. Now that jumps up to 2850.2. So that's an increase of about 200 or so in the ability metric. So if we drop this back down to 0 0.92, it's going to be roughly uh, a 10% increase, a little bit less than that actually, probably closer to 7 or 8% increase in the ability metric. Now, I say this a lot, but ability metric, the percentage increase that you see there does not necessarily translate into a one-to-one -one comparison to DPS. So if your ability metric goes up, in this case, by 7%, that doesn't automatically translate into 7% additional DPS while major force is up, but it does kind of give you an idea of how much DPS you can anticipate gaining while you have major force active. So your typical meta uh, Magic and Nightblade build right now before Merc Mario goes live, you're looking at probably around that percentage point, so around 7 to 8% increase in DPS while you have major force up. So what happens after Merkmire? After Merkmire, Spell Strategist is going to be the new set that you're going to want to run um, for as your front bar set, as your second set, uh, just because of the insane amount of spell damage you're able to, to, to gain with this. So we basically did the exact same thing again, except you'll notice now that our crit chance went down by a significant margin because we're not using Mother Sorrow anymore. Crit damage still remains the same. So how does Major Force affect us here? So you can see right now that our building metric is 2738. And so if we change this to 1.07, 2738 jumps up to 2901. So if we go ahead and 
take a look back down to 0.92, that is a difference of about 170. So that is a little bit less than the increase that we saw with uh, Mother Sorrow. So again, if we go look at Mother Sorrow, 2667. Uh, let me put this down here, actually, 2667. And then we jump up to 25, uh, 2850. So if we go ahead and just take like an absolute value here, and do a kind of percentage based here it's an increase of about 183 and if we just do a comparison here it's about seven percent so now if we do it uh, again here so we start off with 2738 and then when we increase get major force we have a warhorn it's 2901 so then we do 2901 so you can see here that's a little bit less uh, of an absolute increase, but in terms of percentage increase, what how does that translate into percentage increase? Translate to be a little bit less. You can see here we have about six percent, um, six percent increase in DPS. So go ahead and jump back to our mother sorrow. We got about seven percent. So you can see here that the loss of crit chance actually did result in a slightly less, uh, lower increase in our DPS when we have major force up. And that's kind of to be expected just because our crit modifier is now a lot lower here so with warhorn up we have 1.56 uh with spell strategist but with mother sorrow we have 1.74 so that crit chance does make a difference in how much of a dps boost you're going to gain um from using from having your warhorn up but now what happens if your base crit damage is actually going to uh, be a little bit lower so actually this should be 0.82 um, so this is a max orc. So your max orc running burning spellweave and sororia. We don't have 10% additional crit damage. So our current uh, crit damage modifier is 0.82. This is assuming that we're maintaining our minor force uptime. So what happens when we gain uh, our warhorn? We gain the additional 0.15. So again, I'm gonna just record our current number right here, 2511. Now we add uh, 0.15 to this. This becomes 0 0.97. Then we get 2667. So if we take a look at our absolute value here, ends up being 154. That's even lower than our mother's our um, spell strategist uh, with our um, magblade. And again, that is to be expected because we have a lower average crit damage modifier. We have a lower crit chance compared to Mother Sorrow uh, on a magic uh, nightblade. We have lower crit chance in general because we don't have the same um, passives as a nightblade. So our crit mo modifier is going to be appropriately lower. Um, so this does translate to about a 6% increase in DPS, uh, or I should say ability metric. Um, and again, like I say, ability metric is not a one-to-one -one comparison to DPS, but it does give you a very nice kind of picture as to what's happening here. So in terms of magic, that's kind of what you can expect. And then it did kind of did the exact same thing for stamina here. Uh, so again, stamina nightblade, uh, this is with advancing Yokeda. So you can see here that your crit chance with advancing Yokeda is incredibly high. So you would anticipate that this would be an even greater increase um, to our overall uh, ability metric. So if we go ahead and do this, and again, take a look at our absolute measure and then our relative measure. So our absolute measure is much higher because our crit modifier is, is our initial crit modifier is much higher. And so if we take a look at our relative modifier now, you can see that's about a 7.3% increase. Compare that to our Magicka Nightblade, which saw a 6.9% 6 increase. So on stamina, Warhorn's gonna be a little bit more important uh, as, a, for, as a buff to maintain, just because you have a little bit of a higher base crit modifier uh, compared to your Magicka DPS. Magicka DPS generally don't run very high crit compared to what stamina DPS are capable uh, of pulling with advancing Yokeda. And so this is again without advancing Okada. So we're taking a look now with a Veiled Heritance, I believe. This is a Veiled Heritance thing. And so naturally our crit modifier is gonna be a little bit lower. Um, so our absolute measure looks like it increased again uh, by a smaller amount than our 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 base uh, uh, our base with the uh, advanced Okada. 
which we see is true. And in terms of a relative performance gain, uh, we see a little bit lower, 6.7, compared to the 7.3, 7.4. So again, the base crit modifier does play a, a role in how much of a benefit you're going to get from Warhorn. Um, things like spell damage and weapon damage are going to be important as well. But your base crit modifier is, is probably going to be one of the is probably going to be the most important factor here. And then finally, uh, we basically took a look at a non a non night blade. I believe this is a sork. I want to say sork. No, this is a. Actually, don't know what this is. Uh, I want to say this is a DK or. No, this is a Stamina Warden. This is what it is. This is a Stamina Warden, so we don't have the 10% additional crit damage. So again, this is just kind of to reiterate that crit modifier plays an important role here. So uh, our melee metric here is higher just because of the Animal Companion's passive boost uh, that we're getting. This this does play a pretty pretty big role in, in increasing our ability metric. And so again, if we just increase our crit modifier, take a look at our absolute measure versus our... Um, and then take a look at our relative measure. So again, we see it's is a, a much bigger increase compared to our uh, Nightblade, um, and as a relative measure, it's still a, it's still lower than the Stamina Nightblade. Again, because your crit modifier is a little bit lower, even though our absolute increase was greater, that's just a, a, a natural phenomena, uh, just because our initial ability metric is greater. So that means any sort of increase we get is going to be a little bit higher. Um, but in terms of relative increase, it still doesn't win out compared to the massive crit damage modifier that our advanced new Akeda uh, Nightblade had. So to, keep, to basically sum this up, um, Oops, that's all right. Basically, to sum this up, what you have here is that Warhorn contributes anywhere between six to seven percent to your overall ability metric. Uh, that doesn't necessarily translate to six to seven percent increase in DPS whenever you have your major force up, but it is pretty much the closest that we're going to get to an actual kind of numeric comparison between Warhorn versus uh, Major Force versus no Major Force uptime. Um, so hopefully, Andrew, that answers your question there. Again, like I said, this isn't exactly a one-to-one -one comparison to DPS, but the ability metric is a pretty pretty good measure in terms of how we can compare um, how things will perform when we have certain buffs and things like that. So the answer to your question is, Andrew, it depends, but it seems like it's going to be usually within the range of a 6 to 7% increase uh, to your overall ability metric, which might translate to like a 6 to 7% increase in DPS. Um, so you're not looking at anything major. You're not looking at like a 10% increase in DPS, but it's still noticeable enough that you do want to maintain good major force uptime. So that's it for this video. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys have any questions for me that I can uh, try to answer uh, for you guys. I uh, hope you guys found this video informative, and I will see you guys in the next dungeon.